hello everyone in the previous video we had assigned the shell and beam loads for this video we will the main step in this video is to assign the diaphragms for the floors but we will uh, apply these steps to auto edge constraint frame release for beams and length offsets for beams uh, some engineers uh, make uh, this step for uh, columns to frame auto mesh options frame floor meshing options and output stations for beams and columns you have to assign diaphragms for all uh, stories to help the software to calculate the lateral loads so to define diaphragms go to define diaphragms you can assign this D1 for all slabs but if you have a separated slab or maybe another tower and the same building uh, same model then you have to add a new diaphragm and apply this diaphragm to the uh, new tower uh, for now it's okay to assign this diaphragm to all slabs modify you have two types of uh, diaphragms rigid and semi rigid it's common to use the rigid diaphragm uh, for concrete uh, slabs uh, it depends on the thickness the shape of the slab and the materials uh, but uh, in most cases you have to start with rigid diaphragm to um, get the center of uh, uh, mass to get the center of mass so click OK we will talk about this uh, later in separated video and ok select all stories so click on the slab make sure that the 9 shells had been selected assign shell diaphragms d1 and apply right click on the slab diaphragm d1 check all stories auto edge constraint if you have two slabs two connected slabs but the meshes are not connected then the load will not be transferred in a correct way the load will be transferred from the corners only so that you have to apply this option auto edge constraint on these slabs after applying this option the load will be uh, transferred in a correct way even for shear walls by default when you draw any area object in etabs this option will be assigned automatically you can check that by right clicking on the slab auto create auto edge constraint yes you can see that go to set display options other and go to auto edge constraint you can see that all shear walls are signed and the slab to 3d for all shear walls if you want to turn off this option for any element or uh, reapply it for all elements go to assign shell auto edge con constraint and apply to full structure apply or do not uh, create uh, this constraint and length offsets uh, apply you can apply this uh, offset for beams and uh, you can or some engineers apply this offset for columns too you can write your opinion in the comment uh, section select all beams and apply the factor 0 0.5 why we need to apply go to and plan why you need to apply this offset as we see and for this beam after running uh, the analysis we can check that the moment diagram starts from middle of this support and ends in this middle of this support 
but after after applying 0.5 half of this rigid area after applying this factor we can see that the moment start from this point and ends on this point we will check this after running the analysis to apply this factor sele select all beams I have nine beams assign frame and uh, end length offsets you can select all columns and apply the same offset 0 0.5 apply okay right click on the beam and you can see this factor and length factor 0 0.5 okay output stations for beams and columns by default when you draw any beam when you draw any beam the default setting is to apply max maximum station spacing 550 centimeters if you want to change this number for all beams select all beams assign frame and output stations maximum station spacing and apply the maximum spacing you want it's okay to apply uh, 500 millimeters for this project and for columns the default setting for columns as we see the output stations minimum number of stations 3 if you have a taller column uh, go to and you want uh, more uh, stations go select this column uh, the column you want to uh, maximize or to add more uh, stations and frame same output stations minimum number and uh, select for example 5 or you can apply maximum station spacing but uh, for this project the uh, default setting is ok frame auto mesh options and apply auto mesh at intermediate joints intersecting uh, uh, frames uh, edges it's applied by default when you draw the any beam when you draw any beam or any column it's applied but if you want to make sure just right click on any column auto mesh type add point lines edges same for beams okay if you want to exclude or you want to apply this uh, option manually select the beam you want to apply this option for or select all beams assign frame uh, and frame auto mesh options auto mesh at intermediate joint and intersecting frame edges if you want to exclude any uh, beam just select it and select this option frame floor meshing options select all columns and beams include selected frame objects and mesh it's applied by default you can make sure or you can check that by right clicking on any column or beam uh, include an in analysis mesh yes as we see to apply this manually uh, select all beams and columns assign frame and floor frame floor meshing options include and apply if you want to exclude any part select it and do not uh, check this box and apply and that's it for this video